Hi, welcome back to NPA Teaching. In the last video, we discussed the graphical method for solving linear programming problem that occurred with mixed constraints. That is a case of profit maximization subjected to mixed constraints. Now we are going to solve the minimization of cost problems with mixed constraints. Consider this example. A firm produced two product X and Y. Daily production upper limit is 600 units for total production. But at least 300 total units must be produced every day. Machina's consumption per unit is 6 for product X and 2 for product Y. At least 1200 machinas must be used daily. Manufacturing cost per unit are rupee 50 for product X and rupee 20 for product Y. Find the optimal solution for the linear programming problem graphically. See, this is our example. In this example, see, a firm want to produce two product and these, these two products are considered, considered as a decision variable that are X and Y. See here, manufacturer is wants to minimize the cost. So our objective function is minimization of cost because manufacturing cost per unit is given here. So the objective function is given that is minimization of cost. And what is our objective function? That is minimization of cost that is minimize cost is equal to 50x plus 20y because the manufacturing cost per unit of product x is rupees 50 and manufacturing cost per unit for the commodity or product y is equal to 20. So we want to minimize this. So minimize c is equal to 50x plus 20y. See after defining the objective function the next one is restrictions or limitations on this decision variable that are constraints. See there are some constraints are given from the question that is see here the daily production upper limit is 600 units for total production. So here see by producing two product that is X and Y the daily upper limit that means maximum you can produce up to 600. So this is one constraint. So here X plus Y less than or equal to 600. This is the first constraint because the maximum limit is 600. So it is less than or equal to X plus Y less than or equal to 600. The second constraint is see here in the question but at least three 300 total unit must be produced every day. This is also another constraint. That means at least you have to produce 300 units of total product. So X plus Y, both commodity or both product can be produced at least to 300. So here see the X plus Y greater than or equal to 300. See here the constraint is greater than or equal to 300. Why it is? Because at least, at least the manufacturer produce 300 total units every day. So this is another constraint. And see the third constraint is here. Machina's consumption per unit is 6 for X and 2 for Y. And at the same time the maximum hours of machine is used daily at least is 1200. So here it will become 6X plus 2Y at least. So it will be greater than or equal to 1200. So the third constraint is 6x plus 2y greater than or equal to 1200. The next one is non-negativity constraints. That means the value of decision variable that are x and y are greater than or equal to 0. That means the value of x is greater than or equal to 0 and similarly the value of y also greater than or equal to 0. Thus the first step to solve the linear programming problem that is we have to formulate a linear programming problem. From the given question we are formulated our linear programming problem that is here the decision variables are two that are x and y so that we can solve this problem graphically. The objective function is minimization of cost that is minimize c is equal to 50x plus 20y subjected to the constraint that are x plus y less than or equal to 600 x plus y greater than or equal to 300 and 6x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 1200. 
See here, we have a little bit of different constraint that is mixed constraint here. In this example, two constraints are greater than or equal to type and one constraint is less than or equal to type. That's why we have a mixed constraint model and at the same time our objective function is minimization of cost. In this way, this example is vari variant from the previous example. And of course, we have a non-negativity constraints of decision variable. That means the value of x is equal to greater than 0 and the value of y is also greater than or equal to 0. Once the linear programming mathematical model is framed, then the next step is to construct a graph and plot the constraint lines. Here we have two decision variable that is product x and product y. So the product x is taken along the horizontal axis or x axis and the product y is taken along the vertical axis or y axis. Now in order to plot the constraint lines on the graph, we want to find the coordinates of the constraints. For this purpose, we have to replace the inequality sign in the each constraints by an equality sign. Consider the first constraint that is x plus y less than or equal to 600. So the first step is we have to replace the inequality sign with the equality sign. So the constraint 1 will become x plus y is equal to 600. In order to find out the value of x and y from the given constraint, let us assuming the value of y is equal to 0, then the value of x will be x plus y is equal to 0 is equal to 600. So we can solve it as x is equal to 600. And similarly in order to find out the value of y, let us assuming the value of x is equal to 0, then it will become 0 plus y is equal to 600, therefore y is equal to 600. So we got the two points of the coordinates that is x is equal to 600 and y is equal to also 600. To mark the points on the graph, we need to select appropriate scale. Which scale to take will of course generally depending upon the maximum value of x and y which we are calculated from the coordinates of the given constraint. See here we are using 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 and 600 in both x and y axis. Now we are going to plot and draw the line joining the two points that is x is equal to 600 and y is equal to 600 to represent the first constraint. So this red line showing the first constraint that is x plus y is equal to 600 where the value of x is equal to 600 and the value of y also equal to 600. As we know the constraint one that is x plus y less than e or equal to 600. So here every point on the line satisfy the equality on the equation and every point below the line will satisfy the inequality sign because here the constraint is less than or equal to type. So it is every point below the line will satisfy the inequality sign. Similarly consider the second constraint that is x plus y greater than or equal to 300. So the first step is here we have to replace the inequality sign in the given constraint by equality sign so it will become x plus y is equal to 300 by assuming value of y is equal to 0 we can find the value of x that is x plus 0 is equal to 300 therefore x is equal to 300 and similarly in order to find out the value of y let us assuming the value of x is equal to 0 then it will become 0 plus y is equal to 300 therefore y also equal to 300 now we are going to plot and draw the another line joining the two points that means x is equal to 300 and y is equal to 300 to represent the second constraint. See this blue line shows the second constraint that means x plus y greater than or equal to 300 where the value of x is equal to 300 and the value of y also equal to 300. See here the every point on the line satisfy the equality on the equation and every point above the line will satisfy the inequality sign because here the constraint is greater than or equal to type. So here every point above the line will satisfy the inequality. Now consider the third constraint that is x 6x plus 2y greater than or equal to 1200. So the here the first step is to replace the inequality sign in the given constraint with the equality sign. 
So here it will become 6x plus 2y is equal to 1200. Let us assuming the value of y is equal to 0, we can find the value of x by substituting y is equal to 0. The equation will become 6x plus 2 into 0 is equal to 1200. So 6x is equal to 1200. Therefore x is equal to 1200 divided by 6 which is equal to 2000. Similarly we can find out the value of y by assuming the value of x is equal to 0. Then by substituting x is equal to 0, the equation will become 6 into 0 plus 2y is equal to 1200. So 2y is equal to 1200. Therefore y is equal to 1200 divided by 2 which is equal to 600. Now we are going to plot and draw the another line joining the two points where value of x is equal to 200 and the value of y is equal to 600 to represent the third constraint. See here. The green line showing the third constraint that is 6x plus 2y is equal to 1200. In the case of this third constraint, every point on the line satisfy the equality on the equation and the every point above the line will satisfy the inequality sign because here the constraint is 6x plus 2y greater than or equal to 1200. So here the inequality is inequality sign is greater than or equal to type. So every point above line will satisfy the inequality sign. After drawing three lines which represents three constraints, the next step is to identify the feasible solution region. See the feasible region is the region bounded by constraint lines. All the points inside the feasible region or boundary of the feasible region or at the corner of the feasible region satisfy all the constraints. The most important care should be given in this example while we were drawing and considering the feasible region because our two constraints are greater than or equal to type. Hence feasible region will be above or to the right of these constraints. Therefore see we will shade the above or the right areas of blue and green lines because both of these constraints are greater than or equal to type. The another constraint that is constraint which is less than or equal to type. One constraint is less than or equal to type. Hence the feasible region will be below or to the left of this constraint line. Here the shaded area will be the left of the red line. Left of the red line because this constraint is less than or equal to type. Hence the feasible region here is the area bounded by A, B, C and D. After finding the feasible region, the next step is to find the optimal solution of the given problem which is considered as the final stage. See here, in the feasible region, we can see there are infinitely many points that satisfy a given constraints simultaneously. But how we will get the minimum value of the objective function? The optimum solution is always lies at one of the vertices or corner of the feasible region. Here see, we have four vertices or corner points that is A, B, C and D. At first corner point A where the value of x is equal to 0 and the value of y is equal to 600. The second corner point B where the value of x is equal to 600 and the value of y is equal to 0. And the corner point C where x is equal to 300 and y is equal to 0. And the fourth corner point is point D which is the intersection point of two lines on the graph. In order to find out the value of x and y at the point D we have to solve both equations simultaneously. See at point D where two lines are intersecting that means blue line and green lines are intersecting. The blue line showing that x plus y is equal to 300 and the green line showing that it is 6x plus 2y is equal to 1200. So we have a two equation and we have to solve these two equations simultaneously because we have to find out the two unknown values of x and y. See, in order to find out the value of x and y at point D, we have to solve this simultaneous equation. 
the first equation here is 6x plus 2y is equal to 1200 and the second equation is 6x plus y is equal to 300. In order to solve this simultaneous equation, we have to multiply the equation second with 6. Therefore, the equation second will become 6x plus 6y is equal to 1800 which is considered as the third equation. So by taking the first and third equation, we can solve this simultaneous equation. So here 6x minus 6x is equal to 0, it will be cancelled. Then 6y minus 2y which will be 4y which is equal to 1800 minus 1200 which is equal to 600. So 4y is equal to 600. Therefore, y is equal to 600 divided by 4 which is equal to 150. Substitute the value of y is equal to 150 in the equation number 1. That is equation number 1 is equal to 6x plus 2y is equal to 1200. So substituting value of y is equal to 150 it will become 6x plus 2 into 150 which is equal to 1200. So it will be 6x plus 300 is equal to 1200. Therefore 6x is equal to 900. x is equal to 900 divided by 6 which is again also equal to 150. So we have calculated the value of x and y at the corner point D. So corner point D where x is equal to 150 and y is equal to 150. In order to find out the optimum point that is minimum cost from the given four corner points, substitute the value of x and y in each corner points on the objective function. See here the objective function is cost minimization that is c is equal to 50x plus 20y. So at corner point A, we know the value of x is equal to 0 and the value of y is equal to 600. Substitute the value of x is equal to 0 and the value of y is equal to 600 on the objective function. Then it will become c is equal to 50 into 0 plus 20 into 600 which is equal to 12,000. Similarly, at the corner point B where the value of x is equal to 600 and the value of y is equal to c 0. So by substituting this on the objective function, it will become c is equal to 50 into 600 plus 20 into 0 which is equal to 30,000. At corner point c, the value of x is equal to 300 and the value of y is equal to 0. So the c will become 50 into 300 plus 20 into 0 which will be 15,000. And the last corner point that is at point D where the value of x is equal to 150 and the value of y also equal to 150. So therefore by substituting these values of x and y on the objective function it will become c is equal to 50 into 1, 150 plus 20 into 150 which is equal to 10,500. See, we have calculated the values on the objective function from the various corner points. Out of these values, take the lowest value that is 10,500. This is considered as an optimal solution or minimum cost. That's why we are considering the lowest value because we want to minimize the cost. So in order to have minimum cost with the given constraints, the manufacturer produce 150 units of product X and again the manufacturer also wants to produce 150 units of Y so that his cost should be minimum and the minimum cost is rupees 10,500. So this is the solution for the given linear programming problem. See we discussed the graphical method for solving the cost minimization problem with mixed constraints. In the next video, we will solve linear programming problem by using simplex method. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.